before we go into details, the technical details of the app that we'll be building, we're going to examine it. And the app is used for training. So we'll examine the app functionality. And second, we'll examine the entry point from sh entry points from SharePoint into the app itself. So we'll take a look at site contents, quick launch, ribbon links, and web parts or the app parts. So let's go into this demo. We'll start in Chemistry 101 site, and we'll add an app by going to site contents. Choose add an app. And this particular app right now is just an organization app. So we'll choose from your organization and we'll select SharePoint Power User Training. This app will request specific permissions to read content within the site collection and get access to the basic user information. We'll trust this app. And notice that the app is being installed right now. And once the app is installed, we can see the app icon. And a user could go to the app by simply clicking on the icon. As we're going to the app, notice that we're on the app redirect page. And once the redirect completes, we end up on phtraining.azurewebsites.net. And we're looking at a specific course within this app. So this is a SharePoint 2013 Power User Training. And the app lists the lessons in a course. And for each lesson, there's also a completion status for the specific user that's logged in right now. And we can see the username right here. So this username is the user that's coming from SharePoint. So essentially, we had a single sign-on capabilities. We left SharePoint. Now we're within a, a different domain where the app is implemented. And if we want to go back to SharePoint, in this particular app, this functionality is implemented by the Home button that's available right here within the breadcrumb. Going to a particular module A lesson is loaded. And within this lesson, we can click on the outline to see all the contents of a lesson, as well as any resources that might be available, such as the lab, and also the completion status of each individual video within the lesson. For example, if we want to watch a demo, we can simply click on that demo, and the lesson will play. We can jump back and forth between the different videos, or we can use the outline functionality to jump back and forth. Now let's get back to the site where we installed the app. And so the way we access the app originally is through site contents. We can also access the app through the link on the quick launch. Additionally, when the app was installed, it added a number of ribbon links. So for example, under library settings, we have a document library training link here. And clicking on that link takes you to a particular portion of the app. So instead of taking us to the general course description, we're taken to the lesson details page of the idea four, and four being this lesson ID. Now let's try another list. 
for example, assignments list. And if we go to the ribbon here, you'll notice that there's a link here as well. It says tasks list training. And so that takes us to just the tasks lesson. And then finally, if we go to a custom list, you'll see that there's a link here, list training, that takes us to just the generic list training lesson. Another way to expose content from the app is through app parts. So let's go to the home page of the site and let's add a couple app parts to this page. So at the top, I'll say let's add a web part. And notice that there's a course details and lesson details web parts, app parts. So here's one. And here's the lesson details. And those particular app parts are added with certain default settings. And if we want, for example, to make this web part wider and longer, we can certainly do that. We'll go to edit the web part. And let's change the options here. Make the height to be 650 pixels. And we can expand the width to be, let's say, 800 pixels. Additionally, notice that under course configuration, here is the course ID that we're linking it to. Just in case there are multiple co courses, we can point to a particular course. So now if you scroll down to course details, notice that there's no more um, bars on the right here, scroll bars. We got rid of that. And we can make the lesson details a little bit bigger as well. So let's make the width 800 as well. And for the course configuration, instead of lesson ID of one, I'm going to point to lesson ID of four. And notice that the documents module is being loaded. So let's stop editing and let's just see what our page is going to look like. So there's the lesson details and there's the course details. And of course, those don't have to be on the same page or they can be added to any web page to which you can add app parts. If I click anywhere within the app part, we've set it up in such a way that it redirects you back to the app itself. And again, to get back, you simply click on a home button within the breadcrumb and it gets you back to whatever SharePoint site you use to enter that particular app. Well, now that you've seen how the app works, let's go and build it from scratch and let's get to the same point where the app is right now within the demo.